Welcome to the National Stadium East Field in St. Andrew, in the municipality of Kingston and St. Andrew. Rain for Jamaica Premier League action between Harborview and Dunby Holden. Live on your home of champions. Harborview, coached by Ludlow Bernard. Dunby Holden, coached by Lenworth Hyde. We had a, a chance to speak with both coaches a bit earlier. Let's see what they had to say. Look, the interesting couple of weeks of football, I'm going to take you back two weeks to the match against Waterhouse, where you expressed the fact that having players out really caused a problem for you. Anglin was out, Bradford was out, of course, because on his loan spell. Last week now, executing your second win of the victory, or last match week, I should say, and those two players scoring. Wow. <laughs> I never even recognized that. You know, but I think to some extent we have managed to, to sort out some things. The mood has been very good and... The attitude has been upbeat and it reflected in the effort that was put in on Sunday evening a very, against a very, very aggressive treasure, treasure, treasure Beach team. Yeah, you know, so playing away and getting a result was good. And then training was very good all week, you know, so we are very optimistic this evening. As you mentioned, attitude. In that game against Treasure Beach, as Treasure Beach has played spirited all season, yes. it took you stoppage to stoppage time in the second half for you to find two goals. It was 90 plus three and then 90 plus seven. Yes. What does that say about just the general attitude or the focus of your team, which for much of this season you have complained about, the focus? Yeah, well, I remember Talbot was off the pitch and with four minutes to go, he was pleading to the team from the sideline, coach, sorry, team. I could find even one. I could find even one and then blurt it out and the message was sent. But that game should have ended from long before with the, the opportunities that we got. But they still kept pressing. Plenty consistent performances for Dumble Holding over the last few weeks. Four wins in five. And not only that, three come from behind, two one wins. That must be really pleasing for you. That kind of attitude from the team. I don't really like to come from behind together. You know, that was the talk this, e this, this evening in the changing room. So we must try and go and go in the lead most of the times. I don't like ch chasing, you know, but we have to fix our defense, as I say. And I think gradually we are getting it, but we still need some more time to, that, to do that. Let me not leave that point because there were mm. times before when, as you said, you would have conceded needless goals and not mm. been able to get back, back into the yeah. game. So the fact that your team is scoring and keeping that resilience, that mindset, that must be, that's, a, that's one positive for you. Yeah, man, definitely. That's a positive. I told them we are scoring goals, so we must try and keep clean sheets now. If we, are, if we want to challenge for the title, that's what we have to do. We have to stop giving up those goals. So we are getting it. We are, we are training better. We have some players coming in by next week, so we are fixing up the team and try and build that cohesive unit. Yeah. And with, against this Harborview team, Harborview always a tough opposition. Ludlow Bernardo is a, a tough opposed, mm. op opposition leader for you. Mm -hmm. um, some of the keys to victory today, um, what, what kind of tactics are you looking to explore from a Dumble Holden perspective? Well, as I said, defensively, we have to be sound, we have to be vigilant around the back of the field. And, and fix our midfield, keep possession of the ball, all of those things we have to take into consideration. We have to create opportunities also, and I think we are doing that, where we create chances for the past three games, we are creating some chances. So we have to continue in that trend and, and build that spirit and make the, pe the players believe that they can win the title. I'm not here to stay in the league, I'm here to challenge for the title. We get ready for the walkout of the players and this is a fixture that has a, had a bit of seesaw in a, the results between both teams and perhaps the most significant matchup between them in the 2022 Jamaica Premier League final in regulation time it was one all and Harborview ended up winning 6-5 on penalties and what a season that was for both teams done beholding making their Premier League final for the first time after an epic semi-final clash with uh, Cavalier. But they march out knowing that such exploits 
can only come as the rounds are navigated well. Harborview perhaps having more work to do than Dunby Holden. They sit at the bottom end of the table. Dunby Holden in the top six with a playoff spot as it stands. But nothing is certain. And each game must be dealt with with its own respect. Dean Smith in commentary with me, Chris Taylor. As we get ready for the for national the anthem. The After national that, we'll hear from Chris anthem. Taylor his thoughts on this encounter. Chris, your thoughts on this encounter? Big match. Tumble Holden have had a, a really good attitude over the last few weeks. Harborview coming off of a victory. I think that will make a big difference in this match. The fact that 2 0 victory, keeping a clean sheet and just their second win of the season. But quite a few changes, as we'll see shortly, to the Dumble Holden lineup. Some due to injuries, some due to discipline. And yeah, I'm interested to see how players will react. Big change even between the sticks as we see the, the quartet of officials. Carvel Banton with the whistle, Ajay Duhaney, Gavin Cavallo, his assistants, and Carl Terrell, the fourth official. Former FIFA referee, Carl Terrell, very senior, been around a long time. 21 21, the captains. Harding for Orderland, Harding for Harborview, and Shaquille Powell for Dunby Holden. Powell scoring in that last 2 1 win. As I said, three of their four victories out of their last five matches come from behind 2 1 wins for Dunby Holden. Lenny Hyde won't like that, but I'm sure he will take those nine points that came from those three matches. Here's a look at the Harborview lineup. Denora Samuel in goal, Orderland Harding, Romain Brackenbridge, Akima Jones, Tadalu Shukwameka, Kasim Priestley, Trey Bennett, Garth Stewart, Jashawn Anglin, Omar Thompson, Shaquille Bradford, they're coached by Ludlow Bernard. 4 3 3 is what they'll play. Gar Garth Stewart, the addition to that back line that Ludlow Bernard was talking about in the interview. In interesting to see how he will play. Don't be holding. Then out of Saunders in goal, Siddiqui Burton, Shavoy Watkins, Zachy Wilkes, Shaquille Powell, Donovan Sigri, Shavan James, Rajay Smith, Stephen Williams, Stephen Barnett, and the schoolboy Brian Burkett, their head coach is Lenworth Hyde. Yeah, interesting lineup as well. As you said, Saunders between the sticks, no Damian Hyde, no Fabian McCarthy who is out with an injury as well. And 4-4-2 is what they will play. Tumbo holding, but yeah, Fabian McCarthy out with a groin injury. The last couple of seasons, as I said, the broken leg, no an injury, just can't get a break. Fabian McCarthy, and I think him not being in this lineup is a big deal, especially from a, a defensive perspective as well. Ricardo Thomas on the bench, former national wing back, doesn't start either. And Nicholas Nelson, their leading goal scorer, out with a bit of a hamstring niggle. Well, he's on the bench, so not 100%. And what a big deal that would be. Good goal scoring for me. He's been in Nelson, even though he didn't score in the last two games. But yeah. Has been important for them since his transfer from the Lions United. Actually, it's almost a month. It's a, it's a month now when you think about it. His last goals came on the 10th of December. A brace. So, mm, going through a bit of a, a dormant patch, but... They've still been able to find goals from other areas, Dumbledore, and that's important if Lenny Hyde is going to challenge for that title. Dean. 
Yeah. Strong statements in his uh, opening interview. Not here to stay in the league. They're here to win the league. Let's see what kind of performance the charges uh, under his uh, tutelage can deliver. Donovan Segree, now a part of this unit here at Dumbo Holding, won the title with Mount Pleasant. And the books of Mount Pleasant as well was arguably the best left back a couple of seasons ago. Segree spent most of his time on the Dumbo on the Mount Pleasant bench in the latter part of the of last season. Or early this season I should say. It's Powell for Dunby Holden. Scored in one of those four victories that they have had, a 1-0 win it was, and Segree got the winner. Head coach Ludlow, Ludlow Bernard for Harborview. Been very happy about the, 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 the mindset of, of his players in the last couple of weeks, the attitude, he said, the mood. And yeah, that was missing in a lot of the games this season. It just didn't look like they were interested in the football or what was happening on the park. A bit of a nonchalant attitude from a lot of his players. And he says that that has improved. And, and you could see just in terms of his mood <laughs> that it was, you know, much was a, was a lot changed to what we have seen throughout. Burkett going from distance. Not troubling Samuel in goal for Harborview. One goal so far this season, Brian Burkett. Scored, was it 19 in the Manning Cup this season? Burkett. Semi finalist in that competition with St. George's College. Mm, very talented left foot. Another one of the schoolboy players that are trying to really make a mark in the Premier League. Not an easy transition going from junior to senior. It does take a while. Here's a chance. He was offside for Shaquille Bradford. Has been leading the charge. Six goals this season for make it seven. Scored against Treasure Beach in that 2-0 win last match week. Bradford, there's Lenworth, teacher Hyde. Says he's not just here to make up numbers. He's going for the title, something he's accomplished already. But never at Dumbo Holden. Has the distinction having won multiple clubs. Have a view, one of them. Portmore. Chukomeka. Here's Priestley for Harborview. Going all the way back to Garth Stewart. Akiva Jones. Under pressure from Burkett. As well as Stephen Barnett there. and check in Anglin trying to stop that one forward but they're able to go the other way don't be holding Trey Bennett they're guilty of the infraction Donovan Segree the recipient of that foul so it's a kick from about 30 odd yards right 
Samuel in goal for Harborview. Ensuring the wall is to his liking. Truman Wall. Bradford and Anglin. Steve Williams, the candidate for the kick. Out of touch. Watkin, Burton, Zakia Wilkes, playing it forward, first touch of Siddiqui Burton let him down, Harborview through Anglin now, trying to Find Trey Bennett did well to leave his marker, sends it across and very close there. Goalkeeper Leonardo Saunders wasn't very alert to that one. Great effort by Shaquille Bradford, really love him as a, as a, as a striker. Shaquille Bradford, real out and out striker, real poacher. Just sees an opportunity. Look at this from Bennett, it should certainly the percentage is favored. The goalkeeper and just look at Bradford there. Goalkeeper a bit indecisive in terms of commanding a six-yard area, and Bradford saw the opportunity. He probably thought he should have thought he should have toe poked it. Beyond the likes of Saunders, who was tentative and that could have cost him. I think in the end he got more of the studs than the toe. I think he was looking to toe it through the legs of Saunders. Was Bradford, who is looking for number eight this season. Throw it for Harborview. Jones was charged down by Roger Smith. Another throw for Harborview. Back into the starting lineup, Okima Jones was rested for a couple of matches. Came off the bench instead. No doubt, one of the most talented attacking. Fullbacks around. Ball played forward for Bradford. Doesn't argue. Second time he's been caught offside, Bradford. But he will keep coming. And double hold enough to make sure that they mark him very closely. Brackenridge to Stewart. Maker couldn't get that under his spell. Burton to Burkett. Burton gets it back and the way to Powell who goes to Watkin. Stephen Williams. Burkett does have good hold of play, part of his abilities. Here's Amar Thompson trying to bring something alive for Harborview on the left flank, gets it across. Anglin is in the area, Bradford there, but played on in the end by Watkin. Given away, and Jones's first touch let him down.
Here's an opportunity. Williams. Getting it back to Burton. Burton forced to the byline, gets it across. Burkett has to go back to Williams and can he deliver a telling cross? Followed by Bracken Redmay, that's Stewart. foul there no surprise Banton going to the pocket early Shaquille Bradford that was a delicious touch from him and almost a turn in one motion and yeah forced to bring him down just look at this oh, lovely Wilkes was it yeah Wilkes was late with the challenge and stopping a promising attack there goes into the book you definitely have to be careful now so early in the game it away Burke it on the ball and goes the way of Watkin and Watkin goes long headed away by Brackenridge still alive with Don Beholden though Anglin now for Harborview Triple Maker Priestley standing behind this one. So is Anglin. Anglin goes towards the goal. and Jones gets the return ball from Jones gets space manages to get it in the area here's Bradford the point man make that eight for 38 and the old story continues for Dunby Holden they have to come behind if they will come back from this one but how about you Definitely loving being ahead. Yeah, Shaquille Bradford, what can I say? Always in the right place at the right time. And once he stays fit, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes on the golden boot. Shaquille Bradford has played a couple games less. Did have national duties that he was called for, missed a week. Then obviously, because he's on loan, couldn't play against his parent club, Waterhouse. But he scores in most games he plays, Shaquille Bradford. Uh, yeah, real potent. Eight on the season now for him. And uh, big lead for Harborview. Was a joint leading goal scorer back in 2021 with six goals. Shaquille Bradford in the shortened season. Yeah, once he stays fit, I think he'll be right on top of that list at the end of the season. another opportunity Trucumaker gets it to 
Thompson. Firm challenge gets the ball away for Don Beholden. But in the build up to that goal, Chris, it was really good work from Trey Bennett again on the right and yeah. flank. And yeah, Him, both himself and, himself and Jones teaming up well on that right hand side. And Bennett just being patient, I think, was critical there. Didn't just cross the ball as soon as he got in, hesitated, froze the defender, then found a little space, and it was a diagonal pass. Yeah, good positioning from Harborview. Many a times, even in the Premier League, we've just seen players gone around there and just whipped it into the box, whether or not players are in there or not. And even from an attacking standpoint, look at the options they had. One player standing back, so there was a triangle formation there I thought was big from Harborview, good from the attackers and Bradford stayed focused right throughout because that pass I don't think was intended to go into that area but it spun in his favor yeah now the Dunby Holden player goes into the book Donovan Segree and Bennett causing problems yet again yeah. has had a problem path so far Bennett Former Kingston College man. Jones. Can he deliver a fine ball? Still in the position of Harborview through Joshon Anglin. He whips it in and Stewart. Holding his head, of course, concussion protocols will demand that he is attended to immediately. Wilkes and Stewart also having an elbow there. Jay Smith stands behind this one. Lots of jostling there. Smith gets it in a good area. Perkett was trying to run onto it. Well, the earlier wind has died down significantly. Out of you coming forward again, Bennett Wilkes had to play it out. Yeah, making some defensive mistakes again. Tombo holding, giving the ball away in that defensive midfield position, which I 
did think would have been exploited with the absence of Fabian McCarthy. As I said, quite a few changes to their starting lineup that was successful in their last 2 1 win over Fair United. Tommy Hall in edging possession, 55% ahead of Harbour View. Certainly, if you're actually watching the game, Harbour View looking a lot more purposeful with the 45% that they have had. Absolutely. And I've spent most of it in Dumbo Holden's half. And the field tilt would indicate uh, even a more favorable look as well because they've had so many touches in the final third. That was a brilliant delivery yet again, this time from Odalyn Harding from the left hand side. Whipping that in, and Bradford was nearly on the end of it again. Good defending, or well, it was actually Kasim Priestley with the delivery. Steve Williams on the ball for Dunby Holden. And now, Bradford. Watkin goes away with it. Firm challenge that from the captain Harding. Jay Smith was pushed by Garth Stewart. It's a free kick in a good enough area. Yeah, clumsy from Stewart. And especially with Smith back to goal. All you need to do is just guard him there. You don't want to give up a free kick in this kind of dangerous area. Enough space between there and the 18 yard that you certainly can get it over the wall and back down in time. I would think Smith would favor this as well. Pretty good from the dead ball. His last, his last delivery I thought was excellent. And it was disappointing from a Dumbo holding perspective that more players weren't attacking the ball, just for a kick. The shortest among them. Mm. <laughs> and the least reach. Jay Smith stands behind this one. Smith. Go! Oh, wow. Had a look as if it was going to go on target. Nice piece from Smith. Over the wall. Good technique. Comfortably wide in the end, but certainly like the idea and the piece was excellent. Burton. Watkin. Steve Barnett. Roger Smith. It took a touch too many there. Harbour View getting the opportunity to go the other way now. And a look at Bradford. Can he finish? No, he can't. Unfortunate for Shaquille Bradford. That touch was just a little bit too heavy. Gave himself too much work to do. Wanted to hit the finish before the double holding team had recovered. So I understand that, but it, yeah, it was difficult, especially the ball running away from him, so scuffed it in the end. Probably in that situation, it would have suited him to, to take a touch, reel it in, and then try and execute the finish afterwards. 
or to bring a teammate into play, but yeah. Good speed to break the line. Certainly. Given away by Dunby Hall, and here's Free Bennett once more. Pulled down by Burton. Has been a handful on this flank. It's been a mismatch, really. Experienced tennis coach Arthur Philpott in the house. Spent many a time playing Masters football for Santos in this time. Big Santos man, Arthur Philpott. Swung in by Jones. One of the most successful junior tennis coaches in the island. Hmm. Was he onside there, though? I, I think he looked at. He, he looked offside to he me. He looked offside to me, too. Yeah. I think he might have been lucky there, Bradford. So maybe justice in the end that he didn't actually finish. <laughs> he, he did look at a step or two offside. Yeah. Not just by a fraction yeah, at all. I, yeah. Anglin standing behind this one for Harbour View. And Ken Bradford managing to get a touch on it. Bradford makes himself a nuisance all the, way, all the time. He, he actually gets quite a few of those half chances, you know, it must be said. But as I said, a skill in itself to always be in that place knowing where the ball will go or where he should be. That one was a total miss kick, though. <laughs> Here's Barnett. Wilkes to James. Barn. Good ball forward for Burkett. Can he keep it in? He does. Cross. Not bad. Burton is there. And there between Stephen Williams and Akimo Jones. Here's Smith. Burton now lifts it across. Finally trying to get in the thick of things. There's a father of Brian Burkett, Albert Burkett. Always supporting his son, whether it be St. George's or Tumble Holding or wherever he is. Loves the game for sure. Does play it as well, recreationally. Albert. Has a younger brother as well, does Brian, who is quite good as well. He's about 10 years old now. If as much. Power. Here's Williams. Might be more eight. Oh, yeah. He's one for the future, I can tell you. Oh, wow. I know you're a hard man to impress, so it must be so. Here's Bradford trying to go forward, but Wilkes did well. Bradford should get the follow up, though. Go, 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 go. 
Anglin. That was charged down by Watkin. Don't be holding. Able to go the other way now. Ball played forward, looking for Barnett. Here's Jones. Sends it forward. Well done by Chukumeka. Gets it across to Bradford. Bradford. The referee saw nothing there. Wow. Watkin is down, but what about the penalty shout? Well, Carvel Banton. This was the unfortunate fall. Yeah, hard on the shoulder for Watkin. But just look at this here. Arm around him. But I think Bradford, before, before he even went down Bradford, he was trying to play the moment. I think that's what went against him there. There was certainly an arm across Bradford, but as soon as he felt the arm on him, he started to get dramatic. Yeah, I, fair enough, Carvel Banton. I, I, I will side with you on that one for sure. I think that was a, a, a little bit too much theatrics <laughs> from, from Bradford. He should have just continued to play, and I don't think there was anything that should have actually brought him down. She's saying that the hand was around him, which I agree. Yeah certainly was but the hand around him didn't cause the fall <laughs> I, I think he was trying to bite a little bit too early so fair enough even if there was VAR on, on, on in that moment I don't think they would have overruled Carvel Banton there Did really well, did Williams, he's in, gets the shot off. Magnificent save from Samuel. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago National. Glenroy Samuel. Three caps for the Soka Warriors in his career. And that was an outstanding save with the left hand. Just look at this, great move from Williams. Scoffed the shot, but Samuel, yeah, strong in her fingers. Burkett behind the corner kick for Dunby Holland in the 34th minute of the encounter. Yes, it high. Afraid to voice his opinion is is he Shavoy Watkin? Aggressive play in his nature. Once he's not on the field of play, though, <laughs> quite a jovial person, Shavoy Watkin, but on the field he's a different animal, or he is an animal. <laughs> <laughs> when he's on song, though, one of the better centre backs in the league, about a couple of seasons ago, when he was at Portmore United, he was in, in the top three in that season yeah dangerous from the set players when he's for you scored already this season Watkin Perkett and Smith Shikri was there as well in the thick of things but still with Dunby Hall and Burton God, Stewart able to poke it away but Dunby Hall still having possession Here's Barnett. Kimo Jones. Played it out of touch. It's a corner kick for Dunby Holden. Nice move on by Burkett on the right hand side. Was trying to be. Well, from a Harbour View perspective, they were looking to bully him on the right hand side. Well, that's not in the corner arc. 
assistant referee is looking, but obviously not picking it up, but that's not in the area. Sent in the area, had to be punched away by Samuel. Omar Thompson trying to clear. Gets it to Anglin, but he gives it away to Powell. Chukwumeka, overzealous there and gives up the free kick for Don Beholden. Pitcher in pitcher. No, a thing or two. Mr. Edwards. <laughs> Here's Watkin. Oh, there goes a overzealous there against Burkett. Better spell this for Dunby Holden. controlled by Williams initially but then the second touch let him down James gets it back to Chevron James tries to drive forward Roger Smith was trusted by Garth Stewart Stewart has done well in his new role at centre back. Lord of Anad did make special mention of that change with Ajani Talbot being out. And I think Stewart has done really well. Good work from Smith. Peels there for a handball. I did think it, it got a bit of his arm, but I don't think it's a penalty. It came off of his head onto the the arm it seemed or his body onto his arm I think that's a foul though on Hardy he gives us through Carol Banton is one of those officials that likes to let things go likes to comes from that I, I, I almost call it old school where they, they expect or they want more of an aggressive kind of football that was off the head and it rolled down I think the arm was as alongside his body good call but he is one of those that likes to let a lot of things go but it can be dangerous at times because you know then things tend to get out of hand It's important to let the game flow, but there is a, a thin line. Yeah, easily crossed that thin line. Is agree trying to cue things up for Burkett Williams? Can he find Barnett? Trying to do too much. Powell walking now. Smith back to Burton in the middle of the park, gets it back to Powell. Barnett is trying to queue up Sigrid for a strike, but goes away of Burkett. Does well with his back towards goal, does Burkett. Yeah, Burkett has played well so far. I actually think he does better on the right-hand side where he can cut in onto the left foot. He's more dangerous there when, than when he was playing on the left. And quite a bit of vision about him as well, Burkett. Look at that. Good strength on him for a schoolboy. Low center of gravity. Not easy to bounce off the ball. Smith again with the kick. 
played out by Priestley. Burke it on the ball. James to Powell. His first touch let him down here. Comes Anglin trying to go the other way. He gave it up as well. The five minutes to play in regulation time in the first half. Don Beholden having a good spell of possession. Barnett was trying to slip it through for Burton. They still have possession of Don Beholden. Powell whips it in the area. Barnett with the head that was always going to be difficult to get that really untargeted and with any form of power. Download the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play or the App Lab Store. So much sporting content for your viewing pleasure. Check it, Bradford. Being treated. Bradford on your screen, still being treated, magic sprint all. Chukomeka doing well there, releasing Thompson. Good defensive work from Shavoy Watkin. And Saunders able to mop up any danger that he wanted to create. Good work from Watkin. Cut off the angle and just dispossess him in the end. Here they come again, done beholden. They have certainly grown in the latter part of this first half. Powell to Wilkes. We go to Burton. Gets it back to Captain Shaquille Powell. Bradford trying to charge down this one. Does well to get it onto his left foot. Was trying to turn and too much on it. Here's Donovan Segree. Gets it to Rajay Smith, who has been having a, a good time from an attacking perspective, certainly with deliveries. Anglin playing it forward. Thompson. Back to Anglin. Offs to go all the way to. Kimo Jones. Trey Bennett should get that under his spell. He does. Two minutes of added time for the first half. Kimo Jones almost gave it away there. Here's Thompson. 
Good defensive work from Chevron James. Stewart trying to find Thompson, he did. Anglin switches it, but intercepted. Don't be holding, trying to go the other way. Talk there from Trey Bennett. Ball played forward for Burton. Did keep it in play, but not to, well, fortuitously it came to Williams. Brackenridge had to dive to head it away and Harborview speared their blushes. Here's Paul for Don Beholden. Burton gets it back to him. a look at a bit of freestyle magic I wonder what else they have that that for the first half Bradford, the man who has made the difference for Harborview, as he has been doing all season, eight goals this season, and the only goal in the contest, converted by him in the 15th minute. Harborview certainly must be buoyed by their first half performance, but there was certainly a resurgence from Dunby Holden as well. Let's see what the second half brings. The halftime score, half of you won, done beholding nil. JPL on Sportsmax 2, Veer United versus Malines United, Monday, 5 p.m., 6 in the Eastern Caribbean. Followed by Dunby Holden versus Arnett Gardens, Monday, 7.30 p.m., 8.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. JPL on Sportsmax 2. Here at the National Stadium East Field, Harborview leading Dunby Holden, one goal to nil after first half action. Getting ready for the second 45 minutes. General Samuel, this center of the conversation, it seems. They're pre second half chat done beholding doing more physical work ensuring that they are able they did have a counterinsurgence late in the first half unable to really get anything to trouble the goalkeeper Glenroy Samuel what a player Bradford 
has shown that he is. Yeah, I think there are more goals in this, for sure. The play has been open enough. Both defensive units still giving space and, and half chances. Never usually a big disparity in the scoreline between these two teams, though. Always close, as you said, sometimes it's had to go all the way to penalties. AKA the 2022 final. Dumbo Holdings' only appearance in a Premier League final went to penalties. And the man who missed out today, Fabian McCarthy, due to injuries, the man who missed that penalty in the end, was one of their players of the season. And you'd have thought it would just have been elementary for him to bury it, miss the penalty. And that was a trophy for Harborview. They are fifth, hence their logo, now with an additional star. <laughs> they do call themselves the stars of the East. There it is, five of them now. I'm sure they'd like to make further adjustments to their kit. And their crest. <laughs> <laughs> Watkin sends it to Barnett. Brackenridge. They touch it. Here's Williams. They gave it away. Bradford. It's behind Bennett who was looking to advance it for Harborview. Jones. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, what a try. Just over. Excellent build-up. That was from Bennett. Oh, Chukumeka, actually, with the volley. And that was a lovely set-up header from Shaquille Bradford. Cushion header after the pass from Jones. And Chukumeka looking for his second of the season. That would have been some goal, one of the goals of the season. For sure. Had it gone in. Saunders with a bit off his line. He was exposed, Saunders. Half of you. A bit more alive. The start of this half. Lose possession, though. Explain that one to Samuel, no real power behind it. Takes the knee to Samuel. Goes long looking for Thompson. James was there. Anglin gets it under his spell. Priestley goes away from traffic and sets up Akima Jones. He sends it forward. Chukomeka trying to get on the end of it, but Watkin was there to shield it out. It's a goal kick for Dunby Holden. Chukomeka still feeling the effects of that collision with Watkin. Lifted up for Williams. Got a firm push on Harding, the captain for Harborview. I'm surprised he's asking why.
Kenridge goes long. Anglin trying to keep it in touch, but flag is up. Bradford trying to barge through Bennett for a challenge that from Burton Sigri pushing it forward for Barnett but Garth Stewart has to be at least 6-3 Garth Stewart here's Williams Barnett gets it in the area. Burkett tries he might, unable to keep it in touch. Sigri Barnett once more Swung in by Burkett Shaquin Powell, the captain for Dunby Holden. What can he bring for them? Burkett has dropped back a bit deep. Sigri. Gets it back. Chips it forward. The header is there. And Stephen Barnett just couldn't get the final touch. Guard Stewart before him. Barnett still looking for his first goal of the season. Was a leading goal scorer for Dumble Holding last year with seven goals. He scored 12 goals in two seasons, Barnett, but just can't get going this season. Nice ball over the top from Powell. And this was intelligent across the area, across the six-yard zone. And well, Barnett just couldn't execute the finish, but he got a corner out of it. Burkett takes that corner to the back post. The header was on from... Looks to be Williams. Yeah, that was a nice delivery from Burkett. Samuel coming to collect and just couldn't get there. Very talented youngster Burkett, 18 years of age now. In his early years, had a, quite, a good, quite a few good showings. Went to a trial at Watford as a mid-teen. Then in the earlier years, actually won a competition within the Caribbean and got a, a, an opportunity at Barcelona as a youngster just 11 or 12 years old at the time. In fact, when the Dutch clubs came to Jamaica, he was picked as the most promising youngster in that whole workshop, that whole academy at the time. And a 
has con continued to explore, especially at the, the, the high school level. I did say 19, but after checking, it's actually 20 he scored this season, just like Clark. Or be two different competitions. Some might argue that Cleo Clark would have played in a tougher competition this season with the Costa Cup than the Manning Cup. There's always a, a big debate about that. Certainly for this season, the argument has merit. I guess there's merit. many things to swing it in your area, but do remember that initially you're playing a first round that is not necessarily strong, depending on where, you're, where you are situated. I mean, Clarendon is the strongest parish, but it doesn't mean he had the strongest zone. Wilkes going forward, can't connect with Smith and Arborview. Perhaps it's their own strategy. Give it away. Here's Bradford. Triple maker can get the angling, angling, barging in. Good work from Watkin. Thompson. And good work from Powell again. And it actually was James initially and not Watkin who bodied angling off the ball. Chevron James. But good work all around from Dumbo holding defensively and coming into their own going forward. Well, not sure who tackled Burkett there. It seems like the grass. Williams. Made that Burt made that Burton, I beg your pardon. Here's Barnett on the ball for Powell now. James is trying to connect with Powell, but certainly other options were there in the form of Burkett further right. Haven't been using a lot of width, has done beholden in their build up in the attacking phase of the transition. Very narrow, as evidence there. Four for two dozen lend itself to such realities i agree with that well that's going to be a card yeah bad tackle from burkett just look at him here yeah very late and on the ankle of angling Poor challenge. Jones with the delivery. Green trying to stab it forward for Williams. Breckenridge was there. And Akima Jones did hand that ball. The assistant coach in the stands. Very vocal, done beholden supporter. Has the voice of a trumpet. Perhaps the only day that he's been so calm for all the games that we've seen him. of you looking to go to its bench go, 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 go. 
Smith kept it in the area. Barnett! Oh, that was a spectacular attempt. Samuel did well. Had that gone in the back of the net. Quite a few highlight reels it would have made. Burkett trying to get it in, but was very wide and Watkin was overzealous against Bennett. Here's another look at it. Came in the area and it came up the head and yeah, good work from Yeah, good save from Samuel. He's had two really good saves. That would have snuck in. One with that nice left-handed save from the Williams attempt in the first half and then that one digging it out from the left upright. Goes long. James pushing forward. Broken up by Harborview. there from Smith but unable to get through with it that was dangerous a bit surprised that that's not a yellow card Studs exposed in the back of the head of Burton. Seemed like it cut up to his shoulder, but I'm not sure about the head, but that probably should have been a yellow card. I'm a bit surprised that that's not a booking. That's dangerous play. Bradford coming off. Not the only goal of the camp of the encounter so far, Bradford. Fagan goes on for him. And Thompson leaves as a Tyrese Williams comes on in his stead. Barnet, Burkett. to see Tyrus Williams back of course was a class 3 400 meter champion all the way back in 2019 here's Burton there was Burton started a play Burton nice overlapping run the finish didn't match the build up it was a nice move from a Dumbo Holden perspective. Nice team move on the right hand side of the attack. Yeah, I don't think he has a lot to quarrel with that. 
apart from the fact that the finish wasn't of the same quality. Is Fagan was trying to get on the end of it. He does get it now. Jones. Anglin releases Williams. Deceptively quick is Williams. Anglin again. Priestley. Goes away of Jones, who now connects with Bennett. Throwing for Harborview. The 66th minute of play. Smith. Barnett. They've broken up that occasion. Still half of you in possession. Williams trying to go around. Wilkes, but unable to do so. Here's Dunby Holden. Williams. James. Burkett will come under pressure. Khan Guaron Harding. Good work from James and they come away with it and get the kick as well. So there's a move on Burkett. There was a foul, although Burkett did make the most of it and then well, suggested that Anglin did some damage there but a bit of play acting there from the youngster did win a free kick do you remember that Dumbo Holden do have Nicholas Nelson on the bench although we're not sure the level of his fitness delivery and he is their leading goal scorer with six Is Burkett. Watkin with the delivery. Well, that was almost an exciting finish from Joshua Anglin at the wrong end. There's Nicholas Nelson on the bench, <laughs> leading goal scorer. Damien Hyatt is on the bench as well. Very unusual to not see Damien Hyatt between the sticks and well your leading goal scorer, a bit of an injury. <laughs> they don't like the airplay it seems. All smiles, but their team trail. And there's three subs about to be made, and they are none of them. Roger Smith with the deep corner. Samuel has to come. Was fouled was Samuel.
triple change being made by Dumby Holden. Alex Gale comes on, as well as uh, Carter Thomas. And Rowan Brown. Yeah, there's Gale, two goals on the season so far. Alex Gale. I guess you would say that he's improved his finished product now that he has a couple goals because very good energy and work rate in the middle, but as we have criticized him about the end product, well, I guess you'll say he's answered that with a couple goals so far this season. Ricardo Thomas, senior player, regular starter, and wing back is on as well. I don't think it was 100% either. And then Rohan Brown, who starred towards the end of last season for Dumbo Holden, especially in the Link Cup. The new goals, Dumbo Holden. Four wins in their last five matches. Three of them come from behind 2-1 wins. And their resurgence has always been second half. Here's Keel on the ball. Jamar Rose comes on for Harborview, replaces Chukun Maker. Kale to Burton. Can the substitutes spark something for Dunby Holland? Gale on the end of this one. Does get in the area once more, gets it to the goal, but was team in the end. Well taken by Fagan there and Bennett. Fagan gets it once more. Gets it to Demar Rose. Watkin. Able to get it from him. Fagan gets it back. Timo Jones with the delivery. And Ricardo Thomas happy to play it out for a throw in for Harbour View. Just over a quarter of an hour left in this one. Harding takes a throw. Threw it away. Download the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store. WTA Tennis, the Trinidad and Tobago Premier League. Test cricket at the international level. West Indies versus Australia. So much on the Sportsmax app. Get it today. It's a free download. Corner kick for Harborview. 75th minute of play. Priestley behind this one. Whips it in the area. Saunders punched it away, away from the danger area. And Dunby Holden tried to break, but well, they do get the call. Barnett was fouled. Here they come once more. Crew and Brown needed a better shot 
really only set his foot there. Yeah, and even what he was trying to do, there was no way he was going to generate that power to beat Samuel from that kind of distance. I think he, he had a bit of a pocket of space. He would have been better off taking a touch and then still looking to attempt that finish into the far corner. Opportunity wasted. Thomas keeping possession. Wilts goes long. Well, Demar Rose has come on, and just after coming on, he's gone into the book. Himself and Fagan coming off the bench and into the book. Thomas with the delivery. An acrobatic attempt from Stephen Barnett there. Oh. Down. Sportsmax at moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. Started with Jones to Bennett. Bennett. Choco Maker. Which we just lead came to Bradford. A deflection from Donovan Segree as he played it in the air and it shook and maker and Bradford always ready always alert the minded to score one nil harbor view the only goal of the encounter so far the sportsmax app moment brought to you by the sportsmax app Can then behold and get something out of this one. Will have of you get only their third win of the campaign so far. 11 minutes or and any added time will decide. Wilkes to Thomas. Gail fast cut out and Saunders alert to the danger and boots it upfield. Demar Rose unable to get anything from it. Did done be holding in a dangerous position. Run Brown did well. Here's Thomas. Gets by one. Gets in the area but headed away by God Stewart. It's a throw in for Dunby Holden. They seem to be throwing the kitchen sink. Pots, pans, and all. Williams. Still Williams. Gale with the cross, but cut out. But still, as they did in the first half, the end of the first half, they've certainly come alive. Gale.
Burton. Thomas. Barnett gets in the area. Barnett gets it across. Still alive. Watkin. Charged down by Bennett. Sigri. Yeah, that was just not the strike from Sigri, but quite a few opportunities. Really good movement by Stephen Barnett initially to get that cross into the area, and it was a total miss kick. But Sigri. Yeah, having to spin there from what some 20 yards out not the best idea even though he has a good left foot Ball given away, and Williams couldn't make the most of it. Gail himself and Thomas, they've certainly brought some life to the done beholden team. Occupying some of the wider spaces that were otherwise vacant. Here's Anglin, played it on the hand. And a penalty is called for Harborview. Watkin. Yeah, unfortunate, but smart play from Joshua Anglin. Not much that Watkin could have done. He was already exposed. Just look at it here. Smart, yeah, smart from Anglin. Just play the pass. He didn't have a finish on him. But yeah, Watkin, the arm a bit away from the body, prevented it from going into the penalty area. And yeah, right call from Carvel Banton, unfortunate for the double holding central defender. And a chance now for Harborview to probably put this game beyond double holding. Anglin scored against Treasure Beach. In added time, his only goal of the season so far. Half of you, they have missed a few penalties this season. Can he convert this one? Anglin from 12 yards versus Saunders. Yeah, he buries it. 2 0 for half of you. Made no mistake, did the number seven for Harborview. Hasn't had a two-goal season since his return from Miami. Joshua Anglin, first season back, he scored a goal and two assists. Didn't score last season. Doesn't score many, but has two now in as many games. And Lola Bernard has always said when Joshua Anglin is playing well and instrumental in his team, of you do well. He is that kind of player. Good take from Fagan. Here's Rose. Anglin back to Rose. Hardy. Anglin gets it to Rose. Good turn from Rose. And at the back post. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Tyrese Williams. That should have been a goal. What a pass that was from Demar Rose. 
former national youth player was called up to the senior team last year as well and that was a peach of a pass from Demar Rose who's been plagued by injuries throughout his career well Marion from the high school level Demar Rose Williams Gave it away and Tyrese Williams gets it to them. Our Rose. Brackenridge. Dane Samuels comes on for Stephen Barnett. Interesting move. Deep in the area. Forward for a centre back for a forward. And you're trailing 2 0. Williams. Can he get it across to a play and blow? Sigri should have brought that on target. Scored a couple weeks ago. Donovan Sigree scores a winner in fact and he should have done better he knows it as well Premier League winner with Mount Pleasant Donovan Sigree started his career at Arnett Gardens at the Premier League level actually even played for Barbican before that did Donovan Sigree then went on to Arnett Gardens Dean Samuels has been given a special position here playing up front. Interesting. Ricardo Thomas standing behind this one. Head off from Priestley back to his keeper. Perhaps not the original intention, but it did work. minute of regular time regulation time and harbour view wow what a big win this will be a victory here takes them up to ninth position from 11th so they would leapfrog humble lion and montego bay united so they would be in the top 10 harbour view a dismal start to the season but this would be back-to-back -back wins for them and more importantly, or just as important as the six points, the fact that they would have kept two clean sheets when they have been so woeful defensively. And I think their defense line has done a really good today. Gar Stewart has been excellent. So has Brackenridge here. You see him here working hard. Their goalkeeper, Glenroy Samuel, with two telling saves. One to deny Stephen Williams and then one to deny Stephen Barnett, the two Stevens. And what about their defensive midfielder in Joshua Anglin, who to me probably might have been the best today all around the park, getting forward, helping the attack and being that man in front of the back line. There he is, being a nuisance as usual. Yeah, has had a good game, Anglin. 
and I wouldn't argue against him being the man of the match at all. Eventually scored from the penalty spot, won the penalty and converted it. Donovan Segree. Gets it in the dangerous area. Not cleared yet. And again, Angley. Perhaps he heard our conversation and said, let me seal this. Thomas gets it across. Watkin was trying to get his head on that one, but ended up going to a player Jones there. Yeah, Watkin tra challenging well yet again, but all in vain for the big centre back Jones feeling the effects. Again, Dumble holding in attack just a little bit too narrow, even when they think they are going wide there's still so much of the field left to be utilized so they haven't done a good job of pulling the harbor view defense line out of position enough to create more holes or even space for their two center forwards can be holding still Trying to stay in this one. Run Brown. Didn't get it through. Still in possession though through Zakia Wilkes. Burt. Williams. Samuels. Gale. First time cross, headed away, and Watkin on the ball, gets it to Gale, Gale gets it across, and the follow from Brown there just charged down. Here they come again, Harborview, Anglin sent to chase, and yeah, saw the idea from Demar Rose, but certainly with the breeze, there's too much on that with the we not as strong as before but still in that direction the ball, ball tends to travel good press by rose but dumbbell holding come out of it well williams and the shot from brown Went to the ground, then to the keeper. Final moments of this one for sure. And it must be finally for Ludlow Bernard a clean sheet for his team Harborview. Or does Dun Beholden have something to draw from the hat? Doesn't appear so. And any moment now, Carvel Banton will signal the end of this one.
and he does the stars of the east they've done a number once more undone beholden only the third win of the season for Harborview and they move forward in the table tonight the head of Montego Bay United done beholden still in the top six at the moment from this result at Harborview their resurgence certainly on the cards and it's relief for Ludlow Bernard perhaps concern for Linworth the teacher Hyde good game from Brackenridge has a few words with Ruan Brown full-time score Harborview 2 done beholden nil Carpel Banton sent this one off and have a view look very purposeful good combination between Akimo Jones and Trey Bennett good presence of mind got it to Shukwameka a deflection from Sigri brought it in the path of Shaquille Bradford eight goals for the number 38 from Harbour View on loan from Waterhouse what presence of mind what alertness in the area a real goal poacher Shaquille Bradford that was goal number one for Harbour View with the flag high they were loving it Rajay Smithwood tried to bring that one on target but didn't go his way Bradford perhaps being a bit lucky to not have the off offside flag go up but yeah justice in the end couldn't bring it on target a great save that made by Samuel after Stephen Williams got through in the area and was able to test the goalkeeper header here and Garth Stewart doing well to prevent any damage from our view another dangerous moment to Sean Hanglin almost conceding in his own goal he punched the air there winning the penalty and converted it for Harbour View 2 nil at that moment with only a few minutes left in the game and that was the end Harbour View 2 done beholden nil here are the stats Three on target from seven attempts for Harbour View, five from 12 for Dunby Holland. 17 fouls to Dunby Holland's 14, five yellow cards, three of them to Dunby Holland players. One offside to Harbour View, five corners for Dunby Holland, only two for Harbour View. They, Glenn Roy Samuel, made two saves and only one made by Saunders in goal for Dunby Holland. They had the majority of the possession, 59%, with Harbour View. They had the goals. Joshua, never an easy role within the defensive midfield responsibilities that you have. Um, but two goals on the season, a clean sheet for Harborview, two wins in a row. How do you feel about your performance? Well, my performance, I want to I, I wanna just, uh, just want to say thanks. Um, my, and my performance, I just, uh, I just get a role to do. The coach gave us a role to do. So I just go out there, put out my, my, my work do the best what I can do and try to get a goal and that is what I did yeah great conversion from you I can tell you are overwhelmed in terms of the emotion how you're feeling about your performance the coach did say that when Joshua and Anglin plays well half of you has a good game yes and that is true without me it's like nobody else is on the team getting that role that what Joshua is doing can play that role like him so the coach believe in me believe in me and put, I, put me out there and tell us to go out there and do that role, and I give him the job. All right, excellent job. Congrats on your goal. Two on the season now, your best season for some time in terms of goal scoring. Um, get some rest, and we look forward to seeing you in, in, in the weeks to come. All right, pleasant. Thanks. And have a good night. You too, Joshua. And Joshua Anglin, they are a player, player of the match, man of the match, in terms of his performance for Harbour View. And just what he has brought as well, two goals on the season. Yeah. And yeah. Excellent for him. Harbour View with two wins in two.
and they consider their resurgence up the table. And yeah, a big six points for Harborview in their last couple of games now. And two 2-0 two wins as well. Clean sheets to go with that. And yeah, really impressive in terms of what they have done. So yeah, Joshua with a big performance, as you said, two goals, four goals in two games for Ludlow Bernard. They move from 11th now up to 9th. And Ludlow, not a big smile on your face, but you must be happy. I saw, well, I got a big smile out of Joshua in the end when I told him that you, you said on here a couple of weeks ago that when Joshua Angle is in the team and in the right mood and playing well, Harborview produces good quality performances. Yeah, yeah, a good effort from him here today. We probably just need to get him a bit fitter because he was out for a couple of days, right? Um, I thought tactically we did pretty well today. We expected a lot of firepower from from Dunbiol and we, we expected to concede possession more than anything and we expected to be scoring on the counter. Had we been a little bit more clinical, I think this game could have ended from the first half, but um, I kind of like the effort that the guys put in the second half with Dunbiol and really coming at us and defensively for me is where I am really happy that we're standing up to withstand pressure, not making silly mistakes as previously and we need to continue that. Yeah, forward. a real team effort in terms of defence. Um, as I said, the man of the match award was, wasn't an easy one today. But Gar Stewart, you, you spoke about his role coming into defence. He played well. Brackenwich, I thought that the partnership was solid. Yes. And then goalkeeper Samuel, two, yeah. two telling saves as well. Yes. One off of Williams mm -hmm. and, and, and one off of Barnett yes. in the second half. So yeah. a real all-round defence. Yeah, and work. that triangle is what we're working on to get it right. Gart has been plugged in the position, you know, since the other day. And for me, probably he was probably of a man of the match, but you have your choice. Yeah, I just thought Joshua, <laughs> from, from the yes. Joshua perspective, he added things at both ends of the park. That's Got right. back defensively worked, added in, helped out in the attack, then yeah. won the penalty and converted it as That's well. Right. So, but I agree with you, all round team defensive work. I mean, Joshua as a defensive midfielder in front of them as well with Priestley. That's um, right. A real all round performance. As yeah. I said, uh, could have been a little bit more clinical. You did create quite a few chances. Yes, you fell definitely. to Bradford. But yeah. he's that kind of forward, isn't yes, he? That he misses. And he's yeah. suffering from a toe injury right now. So I know it's been affecting him out here. But we were going to pull him off time. But he said probably coach I have 10 more minutes in me. But of course, we have Andre and Tyrese who is just returning. And as the season goes along, I think those two are going to get very dangerous. All right, Ludlow, congrats on the performance. You're making your way up the table into ninth position yeah. now. That must be pleasing to you. Um, all the best. Yeah, pleasing and thanks. Good. All right, excellent stuff. We, Dumble Holden, have decided that they're not going to do any post-match interviews. So, Dean, it's back with you. Thank you so much, Chris. So, the table, Mount Pleasant at the top 28 points. Portmore ahead of Cavalier jointly on 27 points. Better goal difference for Portmore. Chivalry, Arnett and Dunby Holden round out the top six. 24 points for fourth and fifth, 21 for Dunby Holden. Waterhouse, Veer, Harborview, Montego Bay, Humberline, Mullines, the mid table teams at the moment. And at the bottom, Treasure Beach and Lime Hall, seven and four points there in the relegation zone, the two, the two newly promoted teams. JPL continues on Monday on Sportsmax 2, Veer versus Molines. 5 p.m., 6 in the Eastern Caribbean. Done beholding, they play again. Harnett, Harnett Gardens, uh, the opponent, and that encounter, 7.30, 8.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. Good performance for the Stars of the East. Two nil winners over Done Beholding. Goals in either half, and uh, they move forward in the table. That's where we wrap up here from the National Stadium Eastfield. Thanks for joining us.